here back and give another GCSS Army helpful video and today we're actually talking about motor pool operations right so we're gonna be talking about test measurement diagnostic equipment or your TMD program so this is going to be a, a part one of a, a several part series of videos covering TMD but part one is just setting up your your program right so what is TMD right so this is all the equipment that we use on a daily basis that requires some type of calibration or service interval, right? So think of this just like we do our weapons, mass, sea burns, or rolling stocks. We have all these intervals set that we must perform a service, right? So some equipment that requires Team DE would be like your electronic test equipment, your Grims, uh, your pass machine for your sea burn, your torque wrenches, your multimeters, some of the MSD V3 test kits. Um, require team to you. Most importantly is your small arm gauges, right? So if you are a unit that is gauging weapons, make sure that your gauges are calibrated and they're good to go. At the unit level, your 50 cal headspace and timing, right? Make sure that that stuff is enrolled in team D and is calibrated. So a few regulations or technical bulletins that cover team D is uh, AR 750-43, TB 750-25 and AR 750-1. Now, just like any other piece of equipment in the Army, AR 750-1 states that even Team D equipment should get PMCS. All right, so make sure that you're filing those 5988s in accordance with ARAMS. So to set up a Team D program, right? So what do you need to do? So Team D program, one, like any other program in the uh, maintenance world requires additional appointment orders There's, you should always identify a primary and alternate in the event that one cannot pick up or drop off so that you're off the delinquency rate all right so keep that in mind two you should be trained so you can actually go to ohms and search tmd coordinator and you can actually take the tmd coordinator course and if you're highly motivated you can probably get it done in two to three days so some ways to manage your TMD program. So these are some tips that I've used that have worked for me in the past. One, I add them to my DTMS training schedule, right? Just like we add our rolling stock and our weapon services to our DTMS, or we're supposed to, put these on there. Just like your small arms, uh, small arms services, if it's due on the 28th, come the 29th, it's delinquent, right? So make sure you plan ahead and plan accordingly, right? Two, just like our rolling stock, you can do maintenance plans for your team. Need. I highly encourage it. Um, it's a way for you to track it. So when the, your battalion brigade pulls your data, it can, they're able to identify, hey, they're tracking their team. Need. So one area in team need that normally gets forgotten is the C-burn, right? And your combo equipment. Make sure that if you have equipment that is identified in those areas, it is enrolled in team D. So like I said, if you go to TB 750-25, you can look at the checklist and you can see what uh, equipment needs to be enrolled in TMD or get with your TMD lab. They should be able to provide you a master list, right? So hope this video was helpful. Like I said, this is only part one of the series of TMD. Uh, in part two, we're actually going to go into RCOP and I'm going to show you how to pull your team TMDE data. So hope this video was helpful. If you're new to the channel, make sure you check out the videos that have already been posted and uploaded and hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go ordinance.